today's video we're going to be changing out these old gauges and we're going to be updating them with the 410A gauges. These right here you can see R22, R134A and R404A. These are currently the only refrigerants that this will actually test the pressures properly. This will not perform on a 410A refrigerant unit. I also want to show you how to change out here on the bottom we have our gaskets that's starting to go bad. These should be changed at least every month out in the field. And basically what happens when they start to go bad is when you start to use them, refrigerant will start to actually seep out. This is kind of a problem that I've been having here. So we're gonna remove this decompressor and then we're gonna go ahead and replace the gasket. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove our gauges right here. And we're gonna do that using a crescent wrench. Take out the old gauges, you can see here that there is Teflon around the threading. The one that I'm going to be using to replace it, this is going to be for gas and water, gas and liquid. So we're going to go ahead and use these. This is going to help in case you have to use it on either your liquid line or your gas. Here we have our new gauge that we're going to be installing. You can see here it does R22, R410A as well as the R404. Now one thing you want to consider when you're buying gauges is this one actually glows in the dark. I know a lot of times it gets dark at times when you're using it during the seasons. It's just really good to have, especially when you find yourself working in an attic. It just kind of helps. That's something you may want to consider when you're purchasing your new gauges. See here, when I go into a dark or contained area that has no light, I'm still able to read my gauges. So here I put my threading on, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our gauge in. When you're tightening it, don't over torque it, don't put it too tight, you want it to be just nice and snug. So here I just basically hand tightened it, now I'm going to take my crescent wrench and I'm going to give it one nice turn. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the gauge for our high side. If you decide that you want to keep your gauges and you want to just do some maintenance on them, you just want to make sure you can see here this is my pin you want to be able to adjust it down to zero and if you decide to keep your gauges you always want to make sure that this needle is always starting at zero on the psi the way you would adjust that is right here you have a screw and you basically just make your adjustment and just rotate it and that would adjust so that you can bring it down to zero When I'm changing my pressure gauge, I just kind of like to look inside the port to make sure there's nothing restricting it. Basically, I'm just opening it up. I just want to make sure there's nothing on the inside. Make sure your new gauges are zeroed out. And you can make the adjustments. Doing the same thing by putting your screwdriver in there. We're going to remove these little gaskets that go inside the holes. I just recently did this end on my hoses. See on this side, these are in pretty bad shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some needle nose and I'm just going to go ahead and rotate these out. And once you remove the decompressor, you'll be able to remove your gasket. When I'm taking out the old gasket, I like to use a really small screwdriver, get it under there and pry it out. People like to use the needle nose method, but a lot of times what happens when you use the needle nose, it'll just come out in pieces my new gasket. I'm just going to slide it right in. Just for clarification, you can see here that this is threaded, but this doesn't actually tighten down to the actual holes. You can see there's no threading at the bottom. Basically what you're going to do is you're just going to put the gasket inside and you're going to slide this right into the gasket. You're going to put the gasket in, you'll push it in here, you're just going to push it in and set it in. You're not going to actually twist it. It should look like this once you're done sitting there nice and flush. Just doing these simple things will prolong the use and the life of your gauges, of your manifold. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.